Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars. This is my 1075% playthrough, uh, difficulty playthrough rather. Um, so yeah, uh, things are progressing. Uh, we've got um, a potential population calamity coming and uh, yeah, that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's going to be uh, uh, entertaining. Uh, as long as the birth rate stays about where it is, though, uh, we should be okay. As, uh, I think we're down to uh, pretty much just Martian-born doing the work. So, so there's that, at least. Um, right, so... Um, the the um, basic idea here is I need to uh, keep the population ticking along. Uh, that is what is one of the uh, settings for uh, the 1075 percent difficulty is you can't bring in colonists from uh, Earth. Now I made this a little bit more difficult by turning off uh, all the rivals so I can't even snarf uh, colonists from uh, rival colonies. Uh, so yeah. Um, now, um, I also need to get my uh, funding uh, ticking along. Oh, we got a celebrity. Um, I need to get my uh, funding ticking along better as well. Uh, we're up to seven uh, rare metals in the rocket. Uh, so, like, I need to get the funding ticking along so I can make sure to get... Um, to get more uh, um, what you call it's the uh, uh, electronics uh, we're producing uh, machine parts so there's that now I'm using the rockets as uh, um, we're going to turn off exports on this rocket. I think this is the experimental one. Uh, anyway, the idea is uh, we let the rocket, uh, the, ex the experimental rocket, tick along for a bit. And then uh, uh, eventually we'll get the event where the, uh, the problem with it has been discovered. And then uh, that second rocket that we've got ticking along there will... Uh, be just like a regular one and having it far enough away from where any renegades are that will help as well now we've got some uh, vacant work slots but they should all be in here yep uh, so the uh, uh, this here is uh, ticking along I'm thinking I'm going to put a second shift on that. Uh, the, the idea is that I eventually get enough, um, uh, you know, get the funding. I can send the rocket back to Earth, grab some electronics, and uh, things get a little bit better, right? And here we've got half shifts. Um, what happened? Um, right. Oh, now he's, it's fully staffed. Okay. Um, I think we're... Uh... Oh, we had someone transition to being a senior. That's what happened. Uh, okay. And we had a had someone born and it looks like a senior died okay uh, so what we need to do is have things tick through like that um, and hopefully uh, we can get things to the point where uh, the population grows a bit more uh, I would really love to be in a situation where I have a population crisis because I have too many people and uh, seniors are dying okay uh, now that's fine uh, seniors dying is okay is they're not productive members of the colony, so uh, as long as they uh, they're the ones dying, we're okay. 
uh, and it's as long as it's natural uh, natural deaths, right? Uh, but I want to get as many of these here um, uh, rare metals in there uh, as I can. Um, and hopefully we can pick up some, uh, I guess, uh, useful uh, anomalies or something. Uh, anyway, uh, ultimately I'll probably uh, uh, send, uh, send a rocket up and uh, grab some meteors at some point. Uh, I really do need to get some sort of uh, research um, uh, uh, building going on, but I don't really have the population for it, right? And that's uh, that's the uh, potential problem here with uh, with this uh, this level of difficulty, right? Uh, I also need to get a university up, but that requires electronics, so I need to get the population up. And uh, that's that's a slow process, right? Uh, especially as the population is cycling through middle age here, right? Uh, so I was seriously hoping to get the uh, breakthrough where uh, where we get uh, seniors are just regular colonists, right? Uh, but I didn't, so. Uh, unless it's hanging out in uh, one of these sectors that's not uh, scanned, or it's the one of the anomalies in orbit, it's going to be uh, somewhat uh, problematic, right? Uh, but if that did come along, then next thing you know, we're going to have a huge uh, population boom if that if we got that. Now, let's uh, check in on the orbital one. So the breakthrough, uh, we need geologists for the uh, Project Excalibur. That's an unknown, and that's a major risk on the rocket. And we need geologists there for, uh, okay, that's Excalibur. Uh, that's resources. Any five colonists for resources. So that's polymers, okay. And this one, that's research progress. That's uh, research progress. New techs, research progress, resources. Unknown resources, okay. And then we're back to these ones. So, I could go and send the rocket for the polymers, but uh, I don't think that's... Okay, so what I what I really uh, need to do, I guess, is uh, get a university up. That's probably a good... would be a good thing. Um... Yeah, that would be a good thing, but... We got a cold wave coming in uh, three sols, so that's going to be uh, slightly annoying. Uh, right? So... Um, well, that's... Uh, Okay, we got we got fourteen uh, rare metals here. Um, yeah, I definitely need to collect that so I can uh, get uh, get enough electronics so I can at least start making electric. You know, I don't have the population for that though, uh, so I can start making some. Um, out of curiosity, uh, how's this doing? Yeah, what I, I... No, I need a university. Or a research. No, no, no. I, I clicked on the wrong thing there. I need a uh, building. No! Um, okay, so I'm going to need... Um,
Okay. Uh, research lab. Hmm. Hawking Institute. Hmm. I don't have the university researched yet. Okay. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, what I really need is the tech for vaporators and the, uh, the tech for drone hubs. That's what I really need. Uh, right. Uh, well, let's, uh, check in here. Drone hub. Yeah. Autonomous hubs. We have the breakthrough for autonomous drone hubs. Um, that would definitely be, uh, be a good one. Oh, that one might not be so bad to research either. Hmm. We got some decent, um, breakthroughs in here. Um... They're just, uh, I just need to research them, right? Uh, hopefully there's, there's some anomalies up there that are actually useful. Uh, right. Now, uh, where, what is the, now what I need to look at here, uh, first of all, let's see, how's the water doing? Yeah. Uh, we got another water over here. Okay, yeah. Uh, we can exploit that one. And we got a deep one if we can get the get up to the tech for deep water extraction. Uh, otherwise, I need to get to... Uh, uh, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, it's... Um, uh... What is it? Uh, which tree is it in? Oh, it must be in this tree. Yeah, it must be. Um, right. Deep water extraction is revealed. Um, but it's 18,000 science. Yeah. Oh, that one would be a good one. Hmm. But I need to get these ones uh, uh, through. So, yeah. Uh, so I guess it's uh, more waiting. Um, we seem to be sticking at three children and three youth. But we're uh, working our way through the uh, seniors. Um, yeah. Yeah, see, that's the uh, the demographic inversion is what I, I was worried about there, right? Um, okay, now you have 19. Um, okay. And uh, you... How's the comfort? 55. Ugh. Yeah, I need to uh, drop that back. Um, right. Is the uh, dome comforts too low? Uh, there we go. The comforts going up again. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, we've got. Uh, too uh, too few workers, and that's uh, that's going to be a problem. And uh, yeah, having lost a few colonists to a an unfortunate expedition uh, earlier, because I didn't have the resources to retrieve the rocket uh, when things failed, uh, that was uh, unfortunate. Uh, sector scanned, nothing found. Yeah.
So there's two more where there might be an anomaly up here, and then there's some down here. Okay. Uh, less than a sol for the uh, cold wave coming now. Um, I wonder if I can... Can I afford to... Uh, no, it, it'll be here. GHG factory. Um... Well, that... Okay, I could try... I could potentially put one of those up. Hmm. If I were to put one of these up... You know, I'm going to build one of those. Uh, just so that the... Uh, the I think that's... Uh, w what does... That's temperature, I think, right? Or was it atmosphere? Either, one, either way, it's uh, it, it would be a beneficial thing to build. So I'm going to. Now, are these guys operational? Yes. Of course, I'm going to have low uh, resource storage for uh, machine parts because I'm just using all of them, right? Um, now here, we got 23. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see how bad the cold wave turns out to be. Yeah, we'll see how bad the cold wave turns out to be, uh, how long it's going to last. Um, okay. What I can do is I can turn that, that dome off. Um... Yeah, I can turn that dome off, and that'll save uh, resources. Right. It's a long one, five souls. Now, what's this doing? Uh, right, it's uh, the temperature increaser. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, rebuild. Yeah. Okay, now you, um, 25, okay. Okay. That's, uh, rebuilt. Good. Um, okay, I'm still okay on concrete, so I should, but I should probably look at building another concrete extraction over here uh, at some point here okay now is this thing going to unfreeze enough during the day Yeah, our Earthborn count is uh, dropping, so uh, yeah, there's that. Yeah, we just had a uh, a uh, middle-aged person retire. Um, how's the uh, comfort in here? Um, Uh-huh. And 
you are... I might just launch this rocket right away here. With uh, 25 or 26 uh, rare metals. Or maybe I'll just wait another Sol. Yeah, maybe I'll wait another Sol or two uh, to uh, launch it. Uh, you know, take a full load or something like that. Um, yeah, safe mode, 53%. Um, okay. Okay. 58. Right. Um, this here is only two children. Yeah, this could be a problem. Okay, so here, yeah. Yeah, I'll just run that for a little bit, and if it starts being a resource drain, I can turn it off again. But it just occurs to me, if we can at least eliminate cold waves, uh, we have a, uh, a, uh, a nice uh, benefit there. Uh, interesting uh, fact, uh, if you hit 50% um, temperature, uh, cold waves stop, and any ongoing cold wave ends. Uh, I actually experienced that. I actually got that uh, event with the, uh, the long winter event with the extended, massively extended cold wave. Uh, and it was ongoing when the temperature hit 50%, and it just ended. Meteor storm. Well, that could be okay. Um, eight, nine. Okay, so that should be everything up there, and then, well, there might be one there, but then it'll be scanning the bottom here. Okay, so a meteor storm in three sols. Apparently, meteor storms can overlap with cold waves. So it turns out, while these things are fairly expensive to run, they do uh, they do save uh, quite a bit of uh, power uh, if you can cover your dome. And uh, yeah, it, it's it's worth it. Uh, it also um, keeps your water tanks thawed and uh, things like that. So there's real benefits there. Uh, I've got to remember to turn it off after the cold wave, though. I keep, I keep forgetting to do that, and that uses up quite a lot of water, right? Um, okay, we got three children again. Um, yeah. Now, how is this doing? Comfort 61, okay. Um, yeah. I guess, uh, guess there's that. Um, I'm really hoping the meteor storm, uh, drops a bunch of, uh, anomalies. Uh, just so that we can, uh, power through some research, because this is obviously taking a while, right? Uh, and I don't really have the, well, I kind of do, but I need to get a bunch of electronics. Because if I forego running the, uh, metal, the rare metals extractor, I can, uh, I can staff one shift on a research lab. Yeah. Okay. When are... Okay. We had a meteor there. Um, right. Okay. You can launch. Good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the experimental one, so... Um, 
let's uh, let's take a look uh, in uh, in here. Uh, research lab needs five, and one of them for maintenance, and we can run one shift with three colonists. Yeah. Um, I think we could do that. Uh, and they'll, that'll improve comfort if they're working indoors, too. Um, well, I think I'm going to end up doing that, so... Okay, I'm going to build it there. Um, and if I uh, turn that building off for now, um, what's your issue? Storage space full. Ah, that is fine. And you are... Okay, yeah, I could possibly slow down on polymer production uh, for a bit if if uh, I need more uh, research quickly. Um, yeah. And you are... Okay. Okay, well, everything should be okay there. Um, so it's just a matter of getting the uh, rocket back to Earth, getting a bunch of these guys, and, uh, yeah, get, getting the uh, electronics. Then I can get a research lab up and, uh, and run that and uh, burn through some research a bit faster. That would be good. Okay, out of curiosity, we've got ten renegades. Okay. Um, we've got... We're, we have fourteen Earthborns left. Those will be the founders. Would almost be nice to be able to uh, build bio-robots. Uh, you could have an entire colony of bio-robots. Uh, that requires a drone printer, though. Um, right. Um, okay, so we're producing twice as many polymers as we need. Roughly. Um... I could, I guess, I could, yeah, I guess I could uh, get uh, research going. Yeah, that would be good. And uh, more colonists working indoors would be better. I'm going to uh, uh, drop the number of uh, colonists uh, working in the polymer factory. Uh, meteor storms operating, and it's right on top of us. Um, oh no, it's not operating yet. That was just a random one. Uh, right. Okay. Meteor storms in five hours. Okay. Five buildings not working. What? Oh. Right, the frozen ones. Um, no resources there. Okay. Hit okay, meteor storms about to start. Cold wave is almost done. Two-thirds of the way to Earth with the rocket. Uh, right. 
So, two and a half souls for the meteor storm. Where is it? Over here. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll drop some anomalies. That would be good. Uh, you know, I should be so lucky, right? Well, on the upside, uh, there's uh, plenty of uh, of time, I suppose. Uh, we got three children again, uh, right? Oh, look, it's autosave. Uh, okay, uh, cold wave is done. So, we can turn off the heater. Right. Now, uh, the drones will charge around and repair things. Uh, right. Um... Right, so we'll uh, we'll get the uh, see if I can get the temperature up since you know that we've got too much uh, uh, fuel anyway. Um, right. Yeah, see, we're actually making enough machine parts, so uh, we're coming out ahead there. Uh, just about to Earth on the rocket, so we'll get the uh, the export. I'll uh, grab the. Uh, um, electronics parts, build the university, or, or the uh, research lab, and, uh, and then we'll get, uh, get some, uh, some more research going, um, right. Okay, we got 720 million. We'll go in here, cargo rocket. Uh, those are 200 each. So I can bring 20 of them. Yep, that seems good. What have we got in here? Moisture vaporators, drone hubs. Um. Right, okay. So if I bring 20 of those, yeah, that seems, uh, that seems about right. Okay, launch that. Um, I also want to check here. Um, production, uh, small electronics factory. It only needs, oh, it needs five of those to build as well, but I'm going to, I'm going to chuck one of those up as well. Uh, as I can, uh, it looks like I can uh, purpose some uh, uh, colonists to, uh, to work there. Um, I'm going to build it. And then, uh, okay, we got, oh, it's a research anomaly. Okay. Um, and I'm going to turn that off for the moment. Uh, it's built now. Um, this is going to need to operate. So I'll run that for a bit. See the population is declining, and that's uh, that's not so good. Um, okay, that gets operating, and then uh, this whoops that can operate, um, and hopefully. Um, okay, we're still producing more polymers than we need. 
So I can go in here and I can take a couple more off of there. Okay. Now, are we... Uh, we're producing a few of those. So that'll be good. Uh... Okay. Comfort. 61. Um, 3. Well, okay, we got 1,250 research. Um, where's the uh, explorer? Okay, got lucky on that because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, right. What's not working? Fuel refinery. Okay. Uh, nine hours on the meteor storm. Okay. And when the meteor storm is done, I'll send the uh, rover home. Unless we get a uh, another anomaly. Which we won't. Because that should be the last meteor. Yeah. It's the last one. So we'll come over here. Yeah. Uh, low resource. Um, hmm. Right. We had to repair some stuff. Uh, right. And you... Okay. Okay, what are we at 1.7? Um, okay. Okay, how are we doing here? 62. Okay, seniors are dying out. Um, right. Okay. And where are we at here? Ah! We're uh, producing enough of those. Uh, we're short six workers. Four children. Ah, hopefully that will uh, that will get more uh, more stuff uh, operational. When the rocket arrives, we'll repair the uh, uh, drone hub there. Um, yeah, that's going to be a uh, thing, I guess. Um, unless we end up producing enough uh, enough of these guys to. Obviously, this is less than one that we, we have, right? Uh, but our uh, maintenance is uh, less than one, so uh, hopefully we're producing enough. We're up to 2.1% for... Uh, temperature so you know there's that you need one right there's point nine stored Oh, what do you know? We produced enough to... Oh, dear. 
It's a great dust storm. Uh, that's going to be bad. On the upside, uh, uh, safe mode uh, should prevent uh, sanity collapses, and that will definitely uh, help. Um, right. Oh, we're, we got one Earthborn left, so uh, be at the end of an era uh, event or message pop-up should be coming soon. Uh, with the last uh, founder dies. Ah, land the rocket. Yeah, definitely land the rocket. Don't leave it in orbit when the dust storm comes. Okay. Okay, now we've got uh, 20 uh, electronics, so, so that'll uh, definitely be uh, helpful. Um, okay, so safe mode. Uh, when it, when a colonist suffers sanity breakdown, they fall asleep, wake up six hours later with sanity restored. No uh, suicide and no flaws due to sanity breakdowns. Incoming meteor. Oh, that's not protected, is it? It is! Nice. Um, okay. Uh, we have scanned another sector. Hmm. Okay. Whoops. Well, let's... Uh, let's scan some stuff there. Oh, okay. Uh, let's uh, go in here. Drone hub we definitely need. Rover printing we can wait on. Um, autonomous hubs I think uh, maybe we want. Um, uh, yeah. Autonomous hubs and then drone hubs. Where's drone hubs? Um, okay. Yeah, we definitely want autonomous hubs. And uh, we want to uh, build that. Right. So far, so good. Okay. Now, we'll, uh... We'll let that, uh, run for a bit. Um... Okay, so that's safe mode. Um, comfort 64. Yeah. I think I can run that at half uh, staff. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so, well, if I'm going to do that, I can just run one shift. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, that's got, uh, okay, so here, four children. Uh, we might be doing okay, maybe. Um, right. Well, uh, I'm going to uh, put the cut here before the dust storm. And, uh, uh, right, also, uh, turn off exports. Um, okay, so I'm going to put the cut here before the dust storm. Uh, 
and uh, then uh, uh, when the dust storm uh, comes in, uh, we'll see if that basically wipes out the colony or not. Uh, I don't think it will, uh, but uh, we got some uh, research that should be uh, ticking through a little bit more, and uh, that should get us uh, up to at least uh, drone hubs a little bit faster. And then, uh, you know, from there, uh, I guess it's more uh, hoping the population doesn't collapse. Uh, it looks like it has if you looked at the 73 at the start and the 59 now, but uh, that was mostly seniors uh, dying out, right? The uh, founders, uh, and if we can keep the uh, the uh, uh, childbirths going at about the rate they're going, and maybe increase it a little bit, at least we should get a steady state. And that would be absolutely phenomenal. Anyway, uh, so that's going to be all for this time. So stay healthy, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much, and uh, see you back next time.